Yeah, it's local news where each guest has to share a story from wherever they're from. I'm your host, Brett Van Jansen, Chet's taller, chubbier cousin. Morgan, you go first. Well, we have a young 24-year-old man uh, in Nashville who unfortunately rang up an $8,000 tab at a sports bar, and then he actually, from when he started till the, because I guess yeah. they authorized the charge at the beginning, by the end of the night, he turned off his credit card, said he didn't agree with the charges, and um, he actually got arrested because we don't put up with that in Tennessee. For real? Yeah. Yeah, he but, did. But, and by the way, that's a big tip that the that the waiters didn't get. No, no question. But knowing Nashville, did he get arrested for skipping the tab, or did he actually drive home after drinking eight thousand dollars worth of? Beer? I hope not. <laughs> that, I hope not. But listen, he yeah, he said that he didn't agree with the charges, uh -huh. and so he stopped. He froze. He called the credit card company and froze his credit card uh -huh. and sat there all night drinking. So we'll, don't do that. Everybody comes to Nashville for your bachelor parties. Have fun. Pay your bar tab, tip, tip your waitress. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Well said. Well said. Catherine Timph. Oh, boy, I'm so excited. Are you, though? There's a boss babe alert uh -oh. in Wisconsin. Okay, usually when you think hear about boss babes in the media, they're, like, selling workout shakes and stuff. Uh -huh. This lady, Brooke Fleetwood, has a real estate portfolio, and she painted another one of her houses pink to capitalize off of the Barbie movie. <laughs> she said, Barbie was inspiration, so I need to hurry up and paint this pink very quickly to keep up with the Barbie movie, to keep up the demand. I just love the idea of her screaming at people to paint it faster so that she can make money. Because <laughs> then they asked her if she's seen the movie, and she said, I'm waiting for all the hype to die down so I can in peace. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. I, I think she's great. I don't know her, but I don't need to know her to know that I love her. I like her vibe. Yeah. And I can't make fun of Barbie, because in this jacket, I look like Ken's older brother brother can't, you know? You know, looking at that house, though, I'm pretty sure there is no Ken. <laughs> no. A lot of pink. Oh, that's funny. It, it doesn't come with a Corvette. It comes with a Subaru. Yeah. Is that what you're telling me? Barbie's <laughs> dream Subaru. Uh, Jamie, we head your way. So the article I have, and this is actually kind of sad. So I live in Fairbanks, Alaska. You may know that. So yeah. this article is that the, this, the title is the most depressed, depressing town I've ever visited. One tourist says about Fairbanks, Alaska. I was first surprised that it was only one tourist. <laughs> <laughs> but this guy said he said it was it was so mean. He said it was like dark, depressing. There was no future, and people got mad and they were like, "Next time you go, why don't you visit more things than just Jamie and his ex-wife's house?" <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I do love it there because my kids live there, so that's where I hang out with my kids. But for real, if you go, like, I would, I would recommend, like, do a cruise or something. Don't get trapped there through a marriage and have to. Um, <laughs> it's just so much cheaper. The cruise is, like, so much cheaper. And <laughs> there's, um... <laughs> But it, it can get depressing, dude. Like, there's, like, sometimes during the winter, there's only one hour of daylight. One, can you imagine? And so I like it, though, because I feel, like, really productive when there's only one hour. You know, I'd be like, man, I did stuff all day today. You know, and, like... <laughs> and, of course, the darkness gets... To, you know, I call my friends and go, man, it's the, the dark is, like, it gets, it gets depressing. You know, I kind of, you know, want to feel like killing myself. But um, it's so dark, I can't even find a rope, so... <laughs> I should have I should have quit one ago. <laughs> and that's one, why I wrote the review. Uh. <laughs> but it's signed JK. <laughs> Just kidding. Tyrus, take it away. Uh, so last night with all the bumps and bruises and marks on my head, I you notice I'm missing something. I lost 12 pounds. Uh, I <laughs> I defended uh, the NWA World Heavyweight Championship against my lifetime arch nemesis, EC3. And uh, if I lost, I would retire. And I lost, and I'm retired from wrestling. Oh, man. Uh, 20 years. Um, and it was also bittersweet. There it was. We defended it. Uh, EC3 and I broke in together in the WWE. And it was a, it was a great night. It was cool. Uh, my kids walked the aisle with me. It was a great way to say goodbye. Um, and it was a, a bittersweet weekend because retiring is a good thing. But unfortunately, uh, I lost a dear friend uh, the rate right before I actually had a stand up show because I do everything in, in groups. Mm -hmm. Thursday, I had a stand up show 30 minutes from going out. And uh, Wyndham Rotunda, a lot of people would know him as Bray Wyatt, mm -hmm. uh, died at his home. 
and it was a very, very somber, sad weekend, and the irony of life. Uh, I, put, I said it sometimes, the worst thing about entertainment sometimes is real life shows up, and uh, real life showed up 10 minutes before I went out stage and had to make people laugh. Wow. But we do what we have to do. We got it done uh, to his family, my condolences, but I, I'm glad I left it all out there in the ring, and I will miss him. Amazing. And you just, really quick, you got to look at the flip side of this, okay? You got paid for years to beat people up, as opposed to guys like me and Jamie who pay to get beat up. Exactly. You know what I mean? So I think it was amazing. That's Give it up for Tyrus. That's so bad. <laughs> Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.